Hello, this is Renee Esquivel, and you're watching my latest YouTube video on my channel, Technologist on the Go. Please give me a like and a subscribe. Jumping right into this video is what is inspired by a conversation I had with my son, who is a field engineer, this past week. He was explaining that his Acer Nitro 5 um, model uh, AN515-5. 54-5812 uh, released December 2020 uh, was not able to load games that he wants to run. He tries to run Elden Scroll and it'll crash. He tries to run uh, uh, what, uh, um, what is that game? Uh, Halo Infinite and it'll crash. Uh, sea of Thieves and it crashes. Uh, he uh, can play uh, Fortnite on low settings, but not very satisfying. And uh, there was about a total of six games that fell into that category of can't run at all or in such a way as to not be satisfying. And he thinks it's time for an upgrade. Well, that got me thinking, let me compare it to my system, which came out a year earlier, December 2019. It's the Asus Tough. Um, FX505D is in Delta, U is in Uniform. That one sports a Ryzen 7 3750H is in Hotel uh, processor and a uh, NVIDIA GTX 1660 Titanium processor. Um, the one in my son's laptop is an Intel i5. And that one is a uh, 9300H and the video card a GTX 2050. Um, so superior in, in terms of the processor, arguable uh, in the Ryzen 7 versus the Intel i5. But, um, but comparable, and um, both are at the upper class of budget gaming laptops. Uh, so let me just jump in and, and show you how uh, three of those games that my son mentioned fared. Uh, they were Halo uh, Infinite, uh, Fortnite, and uh, to round it off, uh, Sea of Thieves. Okay, so let's go right into it and then um, see what the results are that I found. Okay, the first one we're going to show here is uh, Halo Infinite. Uh, that's one that... Um, my son said he wasn't even able to load, uh, tried to, and it would just crash on his laptop. Okay, you can see here that, uh, I mean, definitely it's launching. Uh, I'm going to go into, uh, I want to do multiplayer, but I also want to get the settings right for this. Uh, and I'm going to go with, uh, let's go for broke here on the settings. I'm going to go with uh, Ultra. And you can see I have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Titanium. And my preset is Ultra. Okay, and so um, with that, let's just see how well the game performs. I set min and max frames per second at 60. And uh, I just do one of those quick little uh, team things. Just play for five minutes or, or so and try to capture the flag is what it seems like we're playing. Um, Okay, a moment there for everybody to show off their strength. And let's just jump right into it. Um, me in particular, I'm looking here at the frames per second. I start off pretty close to 60 frames per second, the maximum. Um, of course, I got fragged right off, off the bat. I'm not really good at, at the combat side of it. Uh, it's more of a fun thing for me than it is uh, anything else I'm... A bit of a drag I guess on the team. Okay, um, again uh, jumping up to a scene where we can see some more uh, engaging. Uh, again frames per second are still staying pretty close to 60, um, which again is the maximum for this game. Uh, let's see, I don't know uh, uh, your impression of the overall gameplay, but the feel for me was very smooth. 
and uh, they hey I get guy only to get fragged out by somebody else and of course that person then gets fragged it's kind of a game like that so that was um, definitely that was uh, uh, that one game of course now you see me in uh, Fortnite and uh, in Fortnite I went for the uh, high settings initially um, interesting that I, most people that that are gamers that I talk about Fortnite all say oh, Fortnite's not a heavy game it's a, it's a really easy game and yet uh, when I see them on their rigs I don't see them racking up high frames per second even though their graphics cards are, are vastly superior to what I have in my laptop um, so I included it simply because for whatever reason uh, it does end up uh, taxing something because uh, I said uh, it, it's a game that can really quickly get slow and laggy and choppy for as much as people say it's not a heavyweight in terms of resources. Uh, but here you can see me uh, going at it uh, again, I bring around um, between 40 and 60 frames per second, and this is on the max settings. Um, of course, you don't see me engaging anybody because my whole tactic in this game is escape and evasion. And so I usually end up making it to the top 10, believe it or not, um, simply because I just avoid the enemy. As you see me right here, I'm going to go hide in a porta potty and <laughs> just wait it out while all the, everybody else goes fighting each other. Um, I ended up getting fragging myself out per se because I temporarily forgot how to sprint and once you get caught in the eye of the storm unless you can sprint or be in a vehicle and just you know uh, get away from the danger zone um, well I just got caught in the storm and I paid the price but um, as you can see there uh, and then of course uh, next game I'm jumping into is Sea of Thieves uh, this is one I was told by my son, of course, that he wasn't even able to load uh, on his laptop. And again, here you see it loading and uh, kicking off just fine. Uh, and this is set at mystical, which that's the ultra or the maximum settings you can have graphics wise. Uh, pull that up so you can see. I don't know what the whole purpose of saying mystical is. It's kind of confusing, but uh, nevertheless, that is the maximum setting I'm told. And so I get it here, mystical, and let's jump right into it and see uh, how well this performs. Again, um, it was my first time playing with the game. Uh, it was it has that kind of a nice feel to it, like a, a raft, which I've, I've seen. Uh, uh, my wife and stepson play. So uh, here, um, again, I didn't really know what all I was doing. I couldn't find the other crew members. I did find the ship at one point. Um, not really sure. Uh, of course, I was more just loving the scenery and just watching the performance under Mystical. And again, uh, I'm not seeing uh, this laptop uh fall behind they're not being able to keep up and it's doing well so of course i think it might have been a little bit of a stutter there but that's really more my capture device i'm capturing at 1080p and i could have captured more at 4k with an elgato hd60 that i have but this other one that i've been using as a late is so much quicker to put together and i just don't Break out the Elgato unless I really have a need for it. Uh, no, I am one who does like to upgrade uh, my hardware. I'm an independent field engineer, and um, it, it, part of me likes to have the light, nice, new, shiny thing where that can be done. But my real motivation is the business, and anything I buy that has new features I put those to use immediately that said I don't like upgrading for the sake of upgrading and I'm more inclined to say 
that my son's laptop is jacked up and we just got to reinstall the operating system because it can it certainly should be performing uh at the very least as well as what you saw that asus tough performing and this is already 2022 and it still keeps up playing the current games and and playing them at max settings and doing uh with a good experience and certainly if you can lower those settings it gets even better um, but it's still keeping up with games and so uh, there you have it and i hope you uh, find value in this video please give me the like and more importantly the subscribe thank you and uh, have yourself a, a, a good experience and a good weekend